Again, guys. Fucking it's hot out here, mate. It is hot as fuck. I'm sweating my bollocks off. But anyway, enough about the bollocks. Um, my dad bought some uh, Pioneers. They've got separate tweeters for his Jaguar X-Type. And he doesn't want the tweeters for some reason. He wants to keep the Jag ones. And he gave them to me. He says he doesn't need them and he's got no use for them. So this is what they look like. Hopefully it looks clear enough for you guys. I'm using the front camera on my phone. You see that? You can see roughly how deep they are. Fucking like, I'm going to get this in a certain way. I will, um, I'll tell you what, what speakers they came from, but it has its own, like, I don't know if it's a crossover or whether it is just a, um, a thing that um, filters out all the basic frequencies so it only gets the highs, but I put them straight onto a totally different pair of speakers and it sounds lovely. And uh, in the Mark III Monday, which is what we got here still, it um, it doesn't have separate tweets. It's just, just doors, isn't it? It's, um, it comes with a two-way speaker. Uh, the Mondeo that I had. So anyway, to cut a long story short, I have fitted the tweeter and I have cut my door for it to fit. Now some of you might not like where I put it, um, but it's really good. Um, I'll show you how to do it. Um, it's time consuming because you want to do it properly. Um, but I'll tell you now, the crap start to this job, yeah? I don't know, some of you might remember I had some Kenwood uh, six and a half inch speakers in the front because I've got my own little um, adapter or spacer whatever you want to call it i took them out of the car and i put them by my open street door because it's hot day so we leave the front door open and um i put my speakers on the floor and my missus knew where it was you know what i mean keep be careful look after them well i took them out of the car they weren't out of the car probably what 20 minutes look at this man look at that ugly shiner mate that my friend is what happens when you have kids. <laughs> I'll tell you now guys, if you've got kids yeah, keep your speakers away from your little ones yeah, because you know, these are a perfect, perfect pair of speakers. There's nothing wrong with these, they're not old. And they're dead. That was one, yeah? I'll show you another one. Put it down, got another one. Look at this, my little girl had a field day mate, check it out. Check it out mate. <laughs> so, I'm trying to laugh it off, I'm struggling though, as you can imagine, because they were like 70 pound when I bought them. Uh, so yeah, I'm a bit, but yeah, oh well, moving on. So this is what I have. So I'll show you what I've done and then uh, we'll see, you guys can see. If you like it, carry on watching and I'll show you how I'm doing it. I've already got my door card ready, I've got my drill ready. I'll explain to you again in a minute. See you in a sec. All right guys, I'm on back. So um, we've uh, I've discussed to you what we're doing and what happened to these. Um, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna tell you first um, what I've replaced these with. Dad gave me some Vibe Slicks. You guys got to let me know what you reckon the Vibe Slicks compared to these. These are three-way. Our family is quite screamy and tweety, but thanks to my little girl, they're probably not anymore. Um, but these are the ones my dad gave me. Now, they're made of Kevlar, which does seem like a better material other than this, to be fair. But um, it's a solid speaker. It's a two-way speaker. 270 watt max peak, uh, 45 watt minimum, and 90 watt RMS. And it, it, it pumps, it, it plays all right. All right, well, it seems to work, so I'm taking my door card off. Now, for the uh, the moment of truth, you guys want to see where I put my tweeter, don't you? Here it is, yeah. So with the same speaker as that, in this door over here, this is what I've done. Hold up. There it is. There's my tweeter. That's where I've put it. Let the haters hate, if you like it, you know. Let me know, but that's where I'm going to be installing on the other side. And it is all wired up nice. The speaker down now, and it works a treat. It sounds really nice. This sun is really bright. Sorry, guys, it's really hard to see the screen and all, but that's what it looks like. If you look at it from a distance, so I can get it to focus, I'll zoom in a little bit. Yeah, look, that's what it looks like. So, I don't think I've done a bad job, guys. You know what I mean? It looks all right. It's, I'll tell you now, it is nicer. It's nice just to have the vocals more higher up in the car than at your feet. Your feet aren't listening to it at the end of the day, it's your, your ears, isn't it? I hope, but yeah, guys, there it is. So, what we're going to do, remove your door cards if you don't know how to do that. Uh, look in my videos and you'll see. Um, I did upload a video showing how to do it, so yeah, run with that. I've got my door card off and I'll show you. So, 
Hey guys, just before we get on to the door card and stuff, I just we just want to clear up with you guys. You can't just go online and buy any old um, tweeter, okay? I wouldn't recommend it. The reason why I'm using this is purely because it's got this little thing here, which I do believe restricts the signals it gets. You can buy cheaper um, tweeters, which you can buy on eBay, um, which you think you could just plug into the back of your speaker. I wouldn't recommend it because them things will blow these in half because these are only dinky obviously i just want to clear that up for you guys um the only reason why i'm using these because my dad ain't using them because the jaguar's got them so he's got no need for it another thing i want to tell you about is mounting so let's say for example you've got these or you're going to go and buy proper component speakers so like you'd use the speaker this came with and the tweet okay you still need to find somewhere to put these don't be an idiot and tape them to the dash or tape them here you know, take me there and everywhere, don't do it. <laughs> so, I want to give you a quick idea on how you would measure up this. What I did, you guys might might agree, you might not, but I went out and I, I picked up my uh, tape measure. Right. Now, I'm trying to keep it nice and easy for you guys, all right? Because um, I'm not very smart, believe it or not. I'm thick as shit. <laughs> okay, so here you go. There's my tweeter. Now, what you want to do, the, the tweeters are pushed in. Yeah, and they're supposed to be pushed in, and I wedged it. I mean, if you make the hole too big, it's no problem. You could probably want a bit of hot melt on the inside of the door card to hold it still. Hot melt's good, because if you ever want to peel it, peel it off, let it cool off, and then just peel it off, it'll come straight away. Some people use blue tack, but that's really tacky. Haha. <laughs> okay, so here you go. So here's your tweeter. Now, if you look, you can see it's slightly stepped, so like the edges are a bit wider. So what I did was I measured the back bit. So try and get it bang in the middle and try and measure it. It's really hard with a phone in my hand, guys, but I hope you can understand what I'm trying to say. So if you look on there, it looks like maybe a 32, 31, yeah? So what I did was, one sec, I used this. I'll show you, hold on. Let me see what's spinning. I used, one, I used this. This is a 32 bit. Um, I just used this on a, just that cheap old drill I bought. And it's still going. Um, yep, and that's when I drilled into the door card. Just like that, keeping it nice and still. And then I gradually filed away, because once I drilled the 32, believe with that bit, it was still quite tight. So it's always good to be more tight than loose, because if you're loose, you're going back. So all I did was I then filed around this circular hole that I cut in here, I just filed with just a cheap little file. File it evenly as best you can all the way around. And as you push it in, Mind the wires on the top here and on the side because you don't want to cut them or damage them as you're trying to pull, push it in and twist it. All right, so let's get down to the nitty gritty and get this card cut, eh? Guys, there's the door card, okay? Now, I'm a little OCD when it comes to stuff like making sure everything is matching. Um, I've made my little mark, don't think you can see it there. It's hard to see on camera, but I measured a certain amount there from the furthest point on my bit. So once, if this bit's here, there I measured one meet one centimeter between that lip there and the actual bit and I made sure that the top like the other one was level with the top of this rectangle bit with the loft where the where the uh, the catches oh. now obviously I'm gonna cut it against the car guys so I'm just gonna cut it on the floor so there you go so as long as the top of my blade doesn't go past this and as long as once the blade is facing this way there's one centimeter here I'm gonna go with it Okay, so got my drill ready. Fingers crossed I don't die on me because I hate battery drills, but still. Okay, so I'm gonna get drilling. I'm gonna need two hands, guys. So I'm gonna make a start. I'll try and show you as much as I can, all right? Uh, so you can get a good idea. But lay, lay it down. It's only grass underneath, we ain't gotta worry. Okay, now I'm just gonna quickly level her up, all right? I'm just gonna get it where I want it. Just to be doubly sure, lads. So if you look there, see what I've done? Okay, so I've definitely made my mark now. So I'm gonna drill there, and it should be perfect. I wouldn't rush it, because it will get hot, and you might burn this. You don't wanna burn it, we just want a nice clean cut, so nice generally. Take your time, let the blade do the work, and don't really push on it, because it is only plastic. And these doors are quite old anyway. It's a car, obviously. Hot, cold, hot, cold, hot car. So I'm gonna get started, then I'll be back. I really should invest in some sort of dock. Okay, make sure the drill's going the right way. Hold it nice and straight. Now I'm pushing a little bit here just to help it start it. 
Okay, we've gone through the first bit. Now this is where you're gonna start doing this bit. Just watch. I know guys, it's nasty, isn't it? <laughs> So we get all shit stuck to it. Give me to that. So you can see we've gone through the material and that's just the plastic at the back of the door. So again, I'm not pushing, I'm letting the blade do it. You can push a little bit, you can hear when I push. Listen. Oh, I've got the torque setting on. Ha <laughs> That's where I was doing, oh shit. That's where I was doing my car speakers, hold on. Put it on drill, obviously. Okay. Let's try again, lads. There you go. Inside, lads, when I'm quick again, you can see what we're going through. So, you can see we're going through there. Okay, so the plastic has come out, so I can't really see the screen on my phone. I hope I'm aiming it in the right way. So, now we're just going to carry on. I'm going to go straight through this. All right, so again, let the blade do the work. So, lay it back down on your bench or me, your grass. Lay it back down, get it where you want it. Neighbours. Okay, so line it back up. I just want to get rid of that piece of plastic at the back, so it's pretty difficult doing it in one hand. <laughs> Normally I'd have two hands on this bit, you could give it a bit of bollocks if you wanted to. Okay, and the battery sound a bit dead in this. Right, guys, I'll be back in a sec. And there you go guys, I've made a hole. <laughs> Um, one thing I will tell you is, last time I did this, this size was a little bit too small, but all I had to do was file down a bit more of the material. Um, I don't know if you can see it because I'm on camera, on this phone. But loads of this stuff you can break away, it'll just snap, but don't snap too much, it can help it. What I'm going to do is just file around the edges to make it a little bit bigger. I'll go and get the, uh, the uh, tweeter and I'll show you what it looks like. And guys, so here we go. Now you want to test his tweeter sticking the wires in first and then just lining them up give her a good twist so you can get a good idea of what it's going to look like but as you can see from this it's not big enough you can see that see that so it needs a little bit more work to get it to fit so i'm going to spend a little bit of time here now lads i recommend you do the same just take your time with it you come this far and i'll be back once i've opened it up a little bit more and there you go, after all that filing and all that fucking swearing, Jamie's come to say hi. <coughs> and uh, there it is in the door. I was a little bit annoyed because I kind of like nipped a bit much there. Just a bit shit. I don't know if I can hide that somehow. Might be able to. But yeah, now I need to show you how to wire it. On this, as I've said, it's got the uh, restrictor on here, the limiter. So the thicker ones usually are positive and the thinner ones usually are negative, okay? So we'll run with that. So you got to remember that. Right, on here I use gender changers on my car so I can keep my Ford wiring without cutting the plug off. So we're going to have to break into this, right? So I've got myself some wire ready, so I'm just going to cut into these and I'll show you out in a minute. So, you going? Yeah. So what you want to do, you see already if Jamie shows you, I've got them two. So they go to the speakers and I've spurred off them. Come off these. Right, 
So now you've pretty much got it like that. That was one unit, but we've now split it in two. And we've nicely bared the wires with pliers and don't use a lighter because that's cheating. All right, so now you get your new wire, which will just literally add to these via a terminal block. So open up a terminal block. I've gone for the bigger ones because there's plenty of room in there then. I know what you want to do. So let's just say we're going to go for red, we'll go for positive, eh? And then we'll go this one that doesn't have any sort of colour as negative. So what you want to do, it's going to come out the car like this. So put the positive with the positive on the uh, gender thing that we got here, on the Ford wire or whatever car you've got. Twist them together a little bit. And then what you want to do while you're on the subject of the positive, get your terminal block and put it in there like that. Uh, what we do actually, we'll, use, we'll put it in this one. So, then tie it up. Alright. Make really sure it's nice and tight, ain't going to run away. Then you've got your negative. So, again, put the negative with the negative. So, we're literally just broken into that circuit that the speaker would be using. Put it in the hole like that. Tie it up. Alright, so now what you want to do is the other end of this would go to your tweet. Right, so that might be a bit, little bit too much wire because you've got to think where you're going to run it. So what we'll do from here is get this here and it go in the other end. So let's do all this while we're here. So put the positive back in the positive, back in the circuit it originally came from. Make sure it's nice and tight. What I'm going to do, I'm going to move that a little bit. I'm OCD. Alright, like that. That's nice and tight. And so you can pretty much see what we're doing. Can't you, Jimmy? You can see that. Mm -hmm. Red and red. Don't mix them, or you're a dick. Yeah. Wiring for dummies. Unless you're a dog and you're colour blind. Alright, so yeah, so you can see what we've done. So this would go to the speaker, yeah, as it always did. And then this end would go through the door and into the back of the tweet. So the tweeter would get the signal and the power from where the speaker does. So, here's your speaker. So make sure these are nice and tight. Uh, you can see on there it's got a positive and a negative. Or well, the bigger spade is usually positive. So you want to support it when you put these in, the amount of times people have pushed this in and snapped them. So a nice bit of support and then push it on to make sure it clicks. And again with the negative. It's hard to see. Oh, there you go. So we've kept positive and the negative. Positive and negative here. That'll go into the car's loom. And then this will go through the door and up where the door card will go. So if we go over to the car, go around here. I'll show you. On a Ford, it's different to a Vauxhall or whatever, but you'll still have some form of original plug if you used the gender changes that I've used. So we want to do from here. You want to plug that in. I think I've got power. I ain't got power to it. Happy days. So you can plug this in. Right. It pulls for me. Right. Forget that. You know I put these in the terminal block first. Well, in this Mondo, it's a bit of a prick. So what I've done is I've took it back out, wrap them together. This was in here, pull that out, because you don't really need it, it's just the support, and just put them in there like that. Put your hand inside and feel for it. And literally just feed it through. So feed it, feed it. There you go. So put it through here, and then put it in the terminal block. So now you've got your block again. So now you want to separate these two. And do it again. So. Again, we know what colours are what. So. So, yeah. Be alright, just push that down. Phone battery's dying. <laughs> okay, 
Africa. So shouldn't take much longer now. The foam should survive. So using your knee or whatever you want to do, just support it as best you can. Put it in like that. Tighten it back up again. Negative. See that? So much better having someone to do it for me, the camera. Mm. <laughs> okay, so here you go. So you can see he would go tweet, yeah, that you put in your door card. Uh, That's for the electric window, so just ignore it. And this will plug into the Ford wire here. Hand. That's all right, mate. I'll use my leg with that. All right, so once that's in, make sure it's out of the way of the window. You'll be surprised at getting the bloody way. So you want to make sure you push all the wires down into the door and get them right out of the way of the window. Okay, so that should just wedge there quite nicely. There's quite a lot of wire there. I don't really need that much wire to go to the, the speaker. So I will do, we'll get rid of some of it. And then get my pliers right there. Okay, so back. So if you look on the back of this door, every speaker will have its different amount of wire to play with. Again, thicker spade, that bigger spade is a positive, and this one's a negative. I tend to leave these on, just bend them, as long as I can fit in your uh, your, your uh, terminal blocks, it's a winner. Okay, so, let's get out of the way. That's a lot of wire, I really don't need that much. Every bit of wire helps. Off. As long as there's still slack in the door, yeah, you want to make sure you give yourself plenty of room for in the future if you have to rip the speaker out, you've still got plenty of room. And make sure you leave plenty here because when you take your door card off, it's already a peg because of the uh, electric wire, the electric window. So give yourself as much wire as you can. Okay. Just split this up. Okay. Back to bearing it. So we're going to pause it and we'll be back in a minute. All right, so, okay, so if you can hear Radio 1 Extra, it's just that going. Now, this is where we're going to link up the, uh, the tweeter. So let's open up the, open these up. As long as YouTube ain't going to do me for the fucking music on here again. They <laughs> do you for everything. Now, fuck's sake, don't let these touch, otherwise I'm going to come over and into it. So, so uh, it doesn't matter which one you put them in, as long as they're not touching each other, because there's power coming off through these wires from the speaker. So, so over like this. As long as it's nice and solid, it ain't going nowhere. Okay, so they're nice and tight, not gonna. Okay, you remember what I said, the bigger one is positive. So it'll be, this one's positive. So we go in there. And again, don't let me touch, all right? Some of you might disagree with leaving that on, but why bother? I mean, it ain't gonna work that one, is it? It's more secure connection. Right now, if you listen to this this tweeter, mate, you put the camera on top of it, see if you can hear that. That's on. Off. On. Off. On. All right, so now I'm gonna put it in. Okay. And there's your tweeter. Let's play music. That's how I wire them up. So you don't want to forget your, your wiring for your light, for your windscreen. The glue, whatever you fancy. All I tend to do is I just wedged it because there's so much plastic on here. I just did that. If you can see that. Nicely wedged away. 
yeah, so it's hiding under there. All right. So what I'm gonna do now, if I'm going to pause it, I'm gonna screw this back to the uh, spacer. Now, if you're gonna use a drill like me, make sure you're confident what you're doing, because you don't want to miss and go through your fucking speaker. You'll be pissed off. Just having a quick look round. Trying to reuse the holes I've used. Sorry, I can get in the way. Make sure it's nice and tight. Make sure you use a torque setting on your drill, because if you go mad, you could fucking go mad. I only have it on torque setting one if you want to know. Alright, so there you go. There's your tweeter. Everything's all lovely. That's that piece of plastic. I was supposed to go in there, it doesn't matter, it's not bothering no one. And that's nice and wedged out of the way, should do. Um, I think that's it, really, to show you. Then just get your door car back on. So look, you can hear that, can you hear that, Jimmy? If you come right down here, can you hear the, yes, uh, yeah. That's what I was gonna show you. I hate that fucking bit, man, it's gonna piss me off. <laughs> right. Yeah, you guys know how to put your door car back on, so stuff it. Anyway, thanks guys, thanks for watching. Um, hope it helped you, hope it opened your eyes up to what you're getting yourself in for and what, what needs to be done. Um, took it out for a drive and it was really good, really happy with it. Very clear, very vocally, very tinny, um, but you have to just tweak the setup. Um, got a Pioneer head unit so I just turned it down and it's working really well, I'm quite happy with it. So yeah, thanks for watching guys, if you're able to give me a thumbs up, don't be afraid to subscribe and take it easy out there, yeah. see you later.